All of us will be affected by this pandemic. All of us in every community will feel the effects of the pandemic. Most of us will become infected over the next many months. 80% of us will not feel the effects of these infections. 80% of us will be asymptomatic, and will feel well, and will continue to go about our daily lives. We'll go to the grocery store, we'll play with our kids, many of us will go to work. But as the governor said earlier, even asymptomatic people with COVID can spread the infection. That spread is what we're worried about. The most vulnerable part of our population for this infection are the elderly and people with comorbid conditions. The elderly are our grandparents and our great grandparents. People with comorbid conditions are our peers and our coworkers, the people who teach our children. They're our family members. What does it mean to have a comorbid condition? A comorbid condition is a condition in which another condition is present. It's a very bizarre term. Basically, it means you have two medical conditions. Think about the people in your lives who have two medical conditions, who have two bottles of medicine that they take every day. Those people are the people that surround us, and they are at risk of being in the hospital, having severe morbidity, meaning being in a long time in the hospital, and then sometimes, and in this disease often, having a fear of death. We will see people hospitalized at great rates with this infection in this state, and we will see people die. If we continue to allow people who are asymptomatic come into contact with people who are vulnerable to this infection, we will see that rate increase in a way that our healthcare community is not capable of taking care of these patients. If we overwhelm our hospitals now, we will not have enough doctors, nurses, and support staff to take care of patients. We will not be able to offer the best care to your loved ones. We will not have all the medications and the proper equipment needed to treat them. If we flatten that curve by staying in touch with our family members and in touch with our peers and our coworkers, but staying a social distance away from them and only coming into contact in small groups, we will flatten that curve. <clears throat> Many people will still become ill, but we will be able to care for them. We will not overwhelm the healthcare system and we will allow everyone to receive the care that we expect. How do you do that? How do you help us flatten the curve? You have to put COVID-19 on your calendar. You have to think about your week and think about every gathering in terms of how many people are here. Are we washing hands? Are we wiping shared surfaces? Are we staying a great distance from each other? Could we have done this remotely? If we don't do this, we will not be protecting our friends, our families, and we will lose loved ones. Today, think about the people around you. They are people with comorbid conditions and they need our help. And our healthcare workers need your help so that every day when we come to our jobs and we come to take care of our patients, we know that we can give the best care. And that is only possible if we slow down this curve of infection, if we allow it to occur over a long period of time and we let the system take care of each patient the way we want them to be taken care of. I come from a very small town full of Cajuns and we love to hug each other and we love to feed each other and we are going to have to do that in very small groups, one person at a time, washing our hands each time. And from now on, we're gonna have to give some sort of elbow bump and I would prefer it to be in the air. But if we do that, we'll be here next year, gathering again, having crawfish boils and going about life. And that's what, that's what we ask of everybody. That's what we ask of our healthcare community and that's what we ask for the citizens of Louisiana. Give us an opportunity to help you by taking care of you in small doses over the next several months and allowing you to receive the best care. Thank you, Governor.